Hey guys, we're back with this old Santa. We're going to try to finish up. Uh, sorry it's been a while, but I've been kind of under the weather and uh, it's uh, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to get right into finishing this guy. I did a little bit of work on this side here, like I said I would do. But then we're going to fill in on this side to show you what I did on this side. So we're just going to get started right now on this. We're going to start on the, on the hair flow. So I'm going to take a number 11 and start putting the, the mustache hair flow in. And you just kind of go with the sweep of the mustache. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. And when you're doing these, you can overlap your cuts. Um... We're probably going to finish up on this guy. Well, this will be the last video on this guy here. Uh, I, I think what I'm going to do on my next video is do a... Um, um, one of my rough outs again. Maybe a, a cowboy. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. Now, you, when you put these hair flows in, you want to just... You don't want to keep away from being straight. You want to get in here and really put some little S cuts in here. I'll turn it back around this way. But these Santas are always fun to do. I, I enjoy doing them. But you go over it with another, like a quarter inch number nine. And then you want to go back over it with a number 11. Just to enhance these cuts a little bit. And you got that in there focused pretty good, Peyton? Yep. Alright. I'll turn it around up this way. I don't want to move too much where it gets out of focus. I know sometimes it does, and I apologize for that, but uh, sometimes I get to go on too fast, and it's kind of hard for Peyton to catch up with me or focus in on me. But you get the general idea of what I'm doing. All right, now I've got that hair flow in here. Well, I want to put some a little bit more here on the side right in here. Now we want to come in here and do the hair flow on the beard. Once again, you want to go in and just do a little curved S shapes. It just gives it a flowing technique. Um, I do want to say that uh, in the next couple of months I'm going to be on the road. I'm going to be in the, in Florida teaching a seminar in Florida. And then I'm going to be at the Renegade and uh, Woodcarver's Renegade in March. And uh, then I'll be up in Converse, Indiana doing a class there. So I'm going to be pretty busy, but I'm going to still get these videos going to you. But, let's see, we want to put some right in here to tuck it up underneath there. But that's pretty much the texture uh, of the beard you want. But I want to come up in here now and, and, uh, and, and take this number 11 and show you how I, I go in here and make the little fur on this cap. You just go in and make little divot cuts. You want to bring them all together to where it doesn't look like there's lines. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. You're staying pretty much in focus yep. the way I've got it? Okay. 
And you can sporadically go and move over like this, but you want to get them uh, together, real close together, because this is this is really uh, the fur on the cap. And the number 11, I like it. Uh, you could use a number, a quarter inch number nine. And uh, I'll show you uh, down here on the collar where I've got some work to do. But that's pretty much that. Now, this is the quarter inch. Uh, number nine and I, I started the fur here and also in here so we want to just come across here and just make little divots in your collar now I need to make me a the V cut right in here. And take a quarter inch V and go right in there. Now, I've got to go in and start outlining where this fur is going to be. So, I'm going to take this number uh, V tool. This is a larger V tool. Getting in that focus pretty much, Peyton? Yep. All right. And I've been under the weather, and Peyton has been under the weather, so it's been a been a tough month for us. That's why we, that's just that time of the year. But I made my cuts there. Now, I, I do want to undercut that a little bit. I'll take my number three up sweep, go in here and kind of chuck that up underneath the fur a little bit. On here also. How we doing on time, Peyton? We got got about ten minutes. Oh, okay, we're good. I, I got. I'm ahead of time here. I do want to show you too uh, um, the way I uh, textured the fur in the uh, the hat right here with a burner. I'm going to show a little bit of that up here at, at, toward the end of the, the video. But what I want to do now is get all right, there's that. Now we got the texture here, like we did over here, and it's done with a number, number nine, quarter inch. And this this is kind of time consuming here, but that's why I went ahead and did the other side so I, I wouldn't bore you with it. I mean, you're seeing how I'm actually how I'm doing it. So that's the main thing. This side's not done any different than what I did over here. But you just keep working at it. Eventually, you'll meet in the center. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I need to put a little bit more right in there. Oh, I've got to finish up this little ball right there. And also, that's done with a number 11. And you just go in and take little small bites out of it.
I know I might uh, I might save this one and go ahead and do a painting demonstration on this too before I do a, another rough out just to show you uh, the last painting demonstration I did was um, with the old camera and it and it wasn't as clear as what had as, as it could be so we I may just go ahead and we'll uh, do a painting demonstration on this now <clears throat> I need to put me some little fold uh, creases right in here like that and then I'll do some right in here We're still doing good on time, Peyton. Got about five minutes left. Okay. What I want to do now is go in. Where I put these separations in here, we need to do them on this side. And just give you some little shadow areas. And just to break up the flow of that beard. You getting in that in focus, Peyton? Yep. All right. I'm trying to keep it in one position. But I've had a, a chest cold and it's just been tough on me. Um, and I'm also out here I'm getting ready to my rough out stuff for my, for my uh, seminars I'm going to be attending. And I'm undercutting this mustache, reason being where you see these little cuts here, like I did the here, I'm going to go in and do the same here, and you undercut that so when you make your little triangle cuts, they just, they should just pop out there. Yeah, I like that right there. Yeah, I think I may am going to do a painting video on this guy here. All right, let's see. Oh, we need to, I need to come down here and work on this a little bit. He still wasn't completely done. He looks pretty good right now. Now, what I'd like to do is, Peyton, let's kind of walk over here. And I'm going to do some little burning techniques right up in here to give you an idea of how much time we got there, Pete? Uh, I got about four minutes. Okay, and this is about all I need for my pen to heat up. But you, where you put all these little divots in, you just go in and you start burning these little areas. You tell me when we're running below on time here, Peyton. Okay. Can you see that all right? Yep. And I, this, uh, I usually uh, burn in stuff like fur like this, unless I want it white. But this particular Santa, I wanted a little darker uh, uh, fur on it, just to break up the the old traditional Santa white fur. But you just run this little, and this is a little ballpoint pen uh, burner point, and it just it'll just burn. And now I've uh, I've got it set on about number six, and it has a heat control on it. But anyway, uh, that's part of the way you need to come in here. You can do the little. The little ball all everywhere where there's fur and uh, I'll go on camera and uh, off camera I'll do this and then we'll get it ready to paint uh, but you can see this is pretty hot because it's 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 putting out some smoke and then you do this the same on the on the bottom fur here
but I'm, uh, I wanted to show you also uh, uh, something on, on this on this particular uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, on on this particular Santa I, I do have him a little smoother nose but what I do I go in and this is a piece of bone I've got and I, I go in and I burnish when I want a little a smoother look I burnish my wood like this we're all right on time Peyton got about two three minutes left okay I did want to sh uh, share with you all uh, uh, other other pieces that I did uh, uh, I've got one uh, carving I did let me reach around here and get it uh, this is a this carving here is a Gary Phelan rough out that I did at the at the uh, Renegade Woodcarvers Roundup, but I want to show you how I burn in the fur. And I like this technique; uh, it just really looks good on uh, on a carving. And then, of course, I did some burning of the decoration in there. But that that is a uh, that's a Gary Phelan rough out that I did at the Renegade Woodcarvers Roundup. But anyway, uh, let me set this back over here. Uh, this guy, he's pretty much finished up. Oh, no, we got one more thing. I mean, we got good time there, Peyton? Yep. All right, I've got to turn him around, and i got to put the little eyebrow on. So I'm going to take my number 11 and just make some cuts right in there to develop an eyebrow. But uh, I also want, before we shut down, right in here, I'm going to put some deep cuts in here with my V tool just to give it a little bit, just to enhance those cuts a little bit more. And then we're going to probably be finished up with this guy. Let me see here. Yeah, we got the burning. Uh, we'll burn the fur back here, and I need to put some more texture in there, but we'll do it. Uh, how much time we got, Peyton? Uh, about a minute. Okay, but if you look, he's pretty much just like this guy. He may look a little different. And I see one more thing I need to do. I've got to put him a nostril hole right in here. I'm going to come in here, make a number nine gouge cut right in there, and giving him a, a breathing hole right in there. And uh, I, oh, I will have, I put in a, this little shadow line. I'll do it with the tip end of my knife. I'll do it. We go right on time, Peyton, right now? Uh, yeah. All right. And then we'll be finished. I go in where I drew that line. And I just use the very tip end of my blade and make me a shadow line. That's pretty much it, guys. So, on my next video... I am going to paint this guy. I've made the decision because uh, we've got a newer camera and you'll probably be able to see it better. So uh, until next uh, the video, uh, everyone, uh, happy carving to you and I'll see you next time.